This is Chatty Dad One here. I've got some uh, startling, upsetting news to bring you. Um, this man is ex-military, ex-special forces. He knows what he's talking about. Christians, it's time for you to make a stand. It's time for us to make a stand because I stand with you. I don't stand with those who flee or will turn cold. The scripture says, Be ye hot or cold, or I will spew thee out of my mouth. And uh, that's what God is referring to. Don't be lukewarm. You be good or bad. You be right or wrong. It's time for us to stand. Christians, I'm talking to you. Check this out. This is uh, for real, and it's serious. Let's listen. Look, <laughs> I'm going to make this quick. You Christians out there in particular, and I'm talking about you now, I realize there have been persecutions against like the Falun Gong in, in, in China, Christians in, in Russia. Uh, all over the world, there have been different types of, of persecutions against a specific group of people, Jews in Germany, okay? Yeah, I realize that. But I want you to see what's happening here. If you're not familiar with this story, I want to tell it to you very quickly. In Babylon, in the Old Testament, in Daniel, okay, Daniel, there was, there was an edict that went out by the Babylonian king, Nebuchadnezzar. It was really designed by his, by his, his, his court, uh, deliberately to try to get Daniel and his followers. But basically what happened was is they, they had an edict out that, that no one could pray to the God of Israel, that that was a crime. And if you were caught doing that, that you would be cast into prison or killed. All right. What happened? This is a law of the land, people, a law of the land. Did Daniel obey it? No, and he was cast into the lion's pit. Did the three men who were cast into the fiery furnace obey it? No, they would suffer death before they would not worship their God according to the dictates of their conscience. The U.S. military now says, not only are Christians likely terrorists, but they cannot do anything that would appear to be proselytizing their religion. And this, I know there are going to be people out there who say, no, they're talking about, you know, trying to preach or to trying to change somebody. No. That's just the start, ladies and gentlemen. Just like everything else, it becomes incremental. So now what's going to happen is, is if you Christians in the military, you know, you, you haven't wanted to see this thing's coming. You think you're, you're, you're serving the country of God? Oh, I'm really upset I am. Because here this thing stares us in the face. The king of Babylon declares that you cannot worship your God according to the dictates of your conscience, but that you must bow the knee to Baal and to Molech. I am not a preacher. But I understand individual liberty. And I understand what, what Daniel did. He stood up against the unlawful and the, the, the tyrannical impositions of his government. If you joined the military, and you did so because you wanted to support this, this God-given government, this one nation under God, now it's turning on. Do you see this is Babylon reborn? The Babylon of the last days. This was not a mistake of the prophecy. Now they are telling you that if you do anything that can be considered proselytizing, and I guarantee you that this is going, the definition of this is going to be used against you. Are you going to submit are you going to bow the knee to Baal and to Molech? It's time to make the choice, ladies and gentlemen. Babylon has shown its colors in all its disgusting glory. 
I'm going to do more on this later, but I had to get this out now. You saw this coming. All right, there you go, people. There you go, people. This guy knows what he's talking about. This man has fought for this country. This man cares about this country and freedom and truth and justice and honor and all good things. We must stand behind good, not evil. We must stand for righteousness, not wickedness. Look around. You can see, just as good as I can, that bad is good and good is bad now. You can see it everywhere. Those who do wrong are rewarded. Those who do right have a hard time. I know because I do right and I'm not rewarded for it. I have a hard time. It's hard to do the right thing. It's hard to be honest. It really is. And anybody who tells you different is lying. Especially in this day and age where they teach you to lie, cheat, and steal. That it's all right. That that's just what you got to do to get ahead. Well, that's wrong. And you know it's wrong. I'm a little bit ticked off, too. I'm not a little bit. I'm, I'm pissed about this this is just this is just upsetting me big time and uh, it breaks my heart people I hope you stand for what's right stand with us with God with Christ for what is right and good it's not going to be easy it's not going to be fun but it's got to be it will be worth it We'll have God on our side. We were chosen to be born in this time period because of the choice spirits that we are. We fought for righteousness before in the battle against Satan and the third that was cast to earth that never gained a body. We fought them before. We've got to fight them now. I love y'all. God help us all. God bless us all. This is Chatty Dad 1. Never give up your guns or your rights. Stand up for what's right. Stand up for righteousness, truth, justice, all things that are good. Support all things that are good. Don't support wickedness anymore. Please. Please don't support evil anymore. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.